Hello everyone, um, welcome to the Do Spot, the channel that awards you 12 points. In today's live stream, we will be having Enshi Nasufi from Albania, and here she is. I'm inviting her. So, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you for the invitation. How is everything going? You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine, thank you. And um, we are really excited to have you here today. Um, how are you doing, actually? Um, well, well I'm good. I'm um, a little bit tired, so, so to be honest, but I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, we know that um, you just finished your rehearsals for the show. Just uh, tell us a little bit about the preparations. How are they going? They are going good. Uh, we, had, we have like a lot of stuff like learning and preparing. I'm getting ready for my performance. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Um, I'm happy. Before my rehearsal, I also had to record for my program because I am a moderator. I'm a TV host, you know. I have my program and I had to record some stuff yeah. and then I didn't have time. I just had lunch and I go, go straight to my rehearsals. So, but I'm happy. Everything is going good. I was actually going to mention um, that you are actually a presenter um, next to being a singer at the, like, towards the end of the chat. But let's just talk a little bit about that. Um, you actually, like, if I'm not wrong, because um, our Albanian correspondent has actually, to like, informed me about you. Um, he told me that you are presenting the show um, Ora et Tiranes. Yeah, great. And interviewing... <laughs> and interviewing people from different fields, like art, um, like different kind of people. Um, how yeah. does it feel to be interviewed, actually? Like, well, uh, you're actually the interviewer, like normally, so. Well, to be honest, I'm, uh, before I, I got to interview people, I was getting interviewed, so. <laughs> yeah. I so, yeah. Uh, it, it's always an honor, uh, it's always a pleasure. Um, I I got used to to this kind of stuff like since I was a, a a small girl. So the fact that now I get to interview people, it's it's so nice, you know. It's it's a different experience for me now. It's the second season of Ora Tiranas, my program uh, that I I get to interview people and get to know new people, you know. You, you can hear yeah. their stories, mm -hmm. uh, they can be famous people, not famous people. Uh, we mm -hmm. just like, we talk about everything, social stuff, problems, mm -hmm. festivals, yeah. concerts, artists, everything. So it's great. It's a new experience, but it's, it's very good. So yeah, I think you rose to fame in Albania with uh, the talent shows, it, X, X Factor and The Voice of Albania, the first season. and. Um, First question, um, how do you think these experiences helped you um, to grow as an artist? And the second question is, um, how did you st start actually like being a presenter? Like, how did you take this, this um, different direction? Well, the, this kind of shows like The Voice, X Factor, they really helped me a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first of all, you get to perform live. So you are learning lots of stuff. It teaches you how to be resilient, how to, to, to wake up every day and have an agenda and go to rehearsals and sing live and perform and then get back to work. So this has this made me like feel better in stage and this has helped me, helped me a lot. So now I feel much more confident, you know, when I have to think and perform mm -hmm. on stage. So there are always ups and downs, you know, but they are very important. So I'm I'm very happy that I have been part of the boys here in Albania. I've been part of Xbox here in Albania. Uh, yeah. I'm I definitely love these kind of shows, even watching them now, mm -hmm. you know. Just watching all these talents uh, singing and performing, that's the, the most beautiful thing, you know. But yeah. I started moderating and being a presenter, like, 
I didn't have a plan at all. It was so spontaneous. I started like. singing. Yeah, I started singing and performing each like every week in another program. And in this period of time, uh, all the people that work for Hora Tiranas, they contacted me to to make an interview and maybe start as a moderator. So <laughs> I didn't plan anything at all. It just happened. And I I first thought that it would be like a new experience, so I had to try to to grow up and try new stuff, you know. Why not? Yeah. I'm young. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And also these um all of these experiences helped you step into the Festival of Kenges five years um five years ago, I think. Yeah, in the, five years ago, yeah, yeah. You're right. In fifty fourth edition. And you actually finished fifth, which is a great result uh, for your debut uh, with yeah. the song Infinite. <laughs> um, so how does it how does it feel to return to this contest um, and festival after a long these long years? It feels great, actually. I was missing a lot singing live, to be honest. I was missing that kind of emotion, those kind of feelings, singing live, performing. Mm -hmm. So I I was working on a song, and then when I, we heard that Festival Congress is going to happen this year, I was like, I have to, to go there, you know? So I have to send my song there and try it for the second time. And since the first time, it was like a great experience. Mm -hmm. Now I'm happy to, to try it again. Um, so if I didn't understand wrong, you were um, working on a song and thought that this was maybe the right song for the festival, for your comeback, and, and then applied for the, uh, yeah. the festival. We were working before the festival and mm -hmm. then with, that, with the producer, with with DJ Buki, he, yeah. he's like a well-known DJ, but now he's a new producer in Albania. He's like, he's a very good one. He's so modern. He's, he is like one of my best friends also. So we have been working like all the time in the studio. So we had this song. When I first heard the instrumental of my song, mm -hmm. I fell in love, to be honest. So yeah. the melody came in my mind five minutes so i immediately recorded that as you said your song is really modern and at the same time it has some retro disco vibes to it um but we actually used to know festival of Kengis as a really classic festival with like with um lots of classic songs and ballads etc etc um but in recently like more more and more artists started to perform um modern mainstream music. Um, but at the same time, last year, uh, we had Elvana Giata, who was a massive fan favorite, but still yeah. in the in the end, we had a ballad again. But I mean, Arilena was a huge star as well, but um, again, a ballad one. Do you think your song may be like a, a risky choice, like a daring choice for the festival? <laughs> question <laughs> I really like it <laughs> because I think there are lots of people there that they have this kind of question in their head you know like maybe it's a real stuff to to try this disco vibes this kind of song in a festival you know because it's like a classic yeah. festival mm -hmm. when maybe you should go with a ballad or maybe you should try different sounds you know but to be honest like that was the first thing that I wanted to be part of the festival with this song, just because it was different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the You're first. You're right. Because it was different, and I really wanted to do something that it's that it's new, you know. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try that. We should not always go with the same thing. 
Absolutely, the ballads are great. If you have a great voice and you go with the ballad, it's okay with that, but I wanted to, to bring something new. I wanted to try it. And I, I'm not feeling it like risky, you know? I'm feeling like, I don't know. I don't know how to say I mean, it. It feels, feel it feels like, natural, natural to you. Like. <laughs> that's good. That's cool. Like, mm -hmm. that's kind of reactions, you know? So, um, I mean, diversity is I, always good, you know? Some 80s, 90s. So we have to, to, to bring back some stuff, but putting it in, in my style, in my voice, in my energy, my dynamics, you know? Mm -hmm. And I really love uh, this kind of rhythms, you know? I really love to dance. So we are also during a very difficult period. So yeah. why mm -hmm. This kind of song, so people can dance and people can feel the good energy. I really get your point, and you're absolutely right. Yeah. And um, what are you telling in this song? Like we know that uh, the melody is really uplifting, but let's like um, for our non-Albanian viewers and also for me, uh, what is the song about? Well, I'm singing for a person that I really love, and I'm saying to him that. Like, you're the one, you're the best, I love you, like, you're like a fresh, you're, you're breath of fresh air and like, you're everything to me, you know? Mm -hmm. So I only yeah. want, like, I only want your body and I, I only want to stay with you, you know, I love you. That's mm -hmm. the whole point. But maybe you can sing this kind of song and you can feel the lyrics even for your girlfriend, boyfriend, mom, dad, like, like for everyone, it's just love, you know? everyone yeah. gets this song in their way so mm -hmm. and have you planned any staging for your song so far like already um do you plan any surprises for us mm -hmm. i'm planning some i told you different stuff modern stuff just wait for it you know and enjoy it <laughs> and we can't well, wait, wait for I, it i would say something only one thing like you will see lots of colors. Sure, sure, sure. Lots of colors. Only colors. Well, let's wait and see. That's one thing. I will not say anything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You're keeping it exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just would like to remind the people that are watching this interview. I forgot, I totally forgot to tell that because of the excitement, but... Um, I mean, they can ask any questions, right? I mean, we can happily answer them in the end, if you have yeah. time, of course. Yeah, it's great. Because, like, we had already one question, and some Albanian comments, but, um, I mean, obviously, I can't understand them. Um, so today, Sky is asking, do you, Angie, have someone, like, uh, sing it uh, specifically for someone? He's asking. Well, I normally lo uh, like to, to keep my private life like separated with my professional one and my career, but yeah, like I really have someone uh, very important in my life, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. very important for me and maybe this song is for him, so it's okay. Love is great. And... Um... <laughs> I would like to move on to the uh, probably one of the most interesting questions. Um, this year, Festival de has no audience and also no orchestra. <sighs> and we know that the orchestra was a big part of it. But... So um, what do you think? Like, um, what do you think? How will the festival will look like without it? Like, will it have the same um, kind of atmosphere? I don't really know. To be honest, uh, the fact that we don't have the orchestra, I'm so sad about it. Like, yeah. one of the most beautiful elements this festival has is his orchestra. Like, yeah. I wanted that. And the fact that we are going to perform outside, I don't <laughs> know. Don't we have some guys in the orchestra, but. As we know, it takes place in December and it will be like um, open air. So, like, it's going to be cold for sure. What right. are the organizing teams planning, like, uh, for you? <laughs> to, to, keep honest, to keep the artists warm. I don't 
really know, you know. Mm -hmm. I, we don't know. That's one of the, the things that we've been talking about, you know, artists with each other. And it's, it's difficult. It's December, it's cold. I don't know how are they really planning to keep us warm because we are <laughs> yeah. alive. Exactly. But I don't know. Let's wait and see. Hopefully we will get to sing. Yeah. We'll get to perform and not get a cold because we have COVID-19, <laughs> but in fact, we are going straight in freezing. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. Yeah. Um, we have another question from Erlind Hiseni. And the question is, where do you feel better in Ora Tiranus or in singing? Because it's difficult to know you, where are you better? Well, I've always said it and I will say it again. Like, my, my biggest dream and my biggest passion is singing. So singing comes first, but I also like moderating and I told you it's a new experience mm -hmm. and I, I really like to, to, to feel and experience this different stuff so I can get to, to grow up and, you know, get better. I don't know, but singing is, <laughs> yeah. Um, today Sky says, I hope there will be some heating on the stage. For you, but what, if there, <laughs> if there's gonna be heating, I don't know what <laughs> what kind of heating they are they are going to put there because it needs to be a strong one. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. I don't know. So that's why I have to dance. So <laughs> you, to keep you warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um. So, Harp Atelier is saying, "I love you, Angie." Your yeah. life, right? Yeah, she's she's part of my team. Like she's my style. Mm -hmm. Also, we are sending love to Albania and to your team, like who are uh, preparing this performance, because yeah. like they also work hard, like behind the scenes. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they they work hard because maybe people get to see only the artists singing and performing, but in fact, there are lots of people, you know, back there. Mm -hmm. that are working and supporting and doing all these things. So it's it's a group, it's a part of people that make all these things like happen, you know, so. Exactly. And also like, especially during the pandemic time, I mean, you artists are also like uh, doing something really important. <laughs> and like, um, I mean, we couldn't get music per live performances during the pandemic, um, but I mean, you all uh, try hard to like um, keep the system like going as usually, yeah, like as it would go usually. And thank you for that as well. We are getting Eurovision this year finally. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. You know that all the artists decided to to be part of the the festival and exactly bring their songs. So it's it's great. We need this energy, you know, we need yep. music. So I, I always say mm -hmm. that. Exactly. So we need that. We all need that, like definitely. Exactly. Now I have a tricky question for you. I mean, okay. um, you may not, you may choose not to answer it maybe. Um, if you had the chance to change your song with another song from this year's lineup, what song would that be? Uh, the song of another artist you're saying? Yes, from Festival of Kangas 59. Of course, I would keep my own song. Like, like I mean, you had to change the song, like with another I, song. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you must change ah, the song. If I had to. With another song from this year. Um. To be honest, like they are not my style, you know. Yeah. So, I don't think I. Yeah, I mean. Mm -hmm. I would find myself in one of their songs, you know. The other artists. Now, mm -hmm. I told you that I wanted to bring something very energetic and different. So we have lots of ballads. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, in this moment, I right. find myself in other songs. So. So, um, Alba Bracha is saying, "Angie, amazing voice, the best of the best." 
Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to ask you um, an interesting question again. Albania is like really known for revamping their uh, songs, like the winner songs from Festival of Kinges, but um, not in a positive way, like usually. I mean, the songs end up non-qualifying. Would you um, give your song a revamp or maybe change the language to English if you win the festival? If I win the festival, uh, I would change it to English mm -hmm. just because the song was first created in English by me. Oh. You know? So I wrote the lyrics in English by mm -hmm. myself. So it, it sounds great in English. And may I ask you to uh, sing a bit of your song in English, if that's possible? Oh, wait, I have to, because I, I've been rehearsing all the time in Albania. <laughs> yeah. And now that you're asking, <laughs> go back to the English one. Like, I, I, was just, I was just curious, I mean, I, I mean I, how would it sound like in English? I remember it, because I wrote it myself, but it's just this Albanian rehearsing, <laughs> stuff like that, so I, I cannot remember, but wait, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember it, wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> but wait. Why it's very difficult? Like I don't really know why. Like it, it comes in a lane. <laughs> That's strange. But the the text has not been changing a lot. You know, the lyrics are maybe mm -hmm. the kind of the same thing. You know, in in Albanian and in English too. But to be honest, it's like very difficult for me to remember right now in English. To be honest, and at least at least what would it be called in English? The song. The title, I mean. I haven't thought about that. Okay, I... okay. So ESCX Funny Girl is asking, Enchi, will you release the English version if you don't win? Yeah, I'm thinking about that too. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I will release it because it's nice. So if we have an English version, maybe lots of people will understand it. Even not yeah. only, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. And um, what's your first Festival of Kinges memory, like watching it? The memory of the first festival. Uh, like the first that you watched, yeah. I I YouTube and I I rewatch my my performance. It's it's very strange because I I'm very critic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, mm, uh, mm. <laughs> but I've, I've had like, uh, I told you I've had a great experience that year. So the energy of the public, you said that this year we are not having people there. So yeah. that's another thing that I don't feel so good. I feel sad, but we will try to, to do it. Because the energy of the of the public and the people is the most important. I don't know the most important thing. Everything changes when you go to the stage and you have lots of people watching and hearing you. Like everything changes. Their energy like lifts you up, and it's it's totally different. But let's see. Yeah, and also. Um... What's your favorite Albanian entry to Eurovision so far, like uh, in the history of Albania? Oh, okay. Uh, I like uh, Rona Mishiu. Yeah. Because uh, I think she has a great voice. And uh, with that voice, she made a, a great impact and she won like the fifth place. Yeah, the so... best result ever, yeah. Yeah, the best result of Albania ever. Yeah. Uh, I I love Elgan Bushpepa. Like I've mm -hmm. always said it. Uh, I I loved his song because it was so uh, it was so nice. Yeah. Pian. I loved it, and his voice. Like he's also one of the best voices we have, and he's like one in a million. You know. Yeah, hands down. Yeah, yeah. Of voice and the kind of artist like every day. Right. I also liked. Wait, I have like some other artists that I've liked. Uh, I've liked Juliana Pasha. She had yeah. a very nice song in Eurovision. 
uh, also, I don't know, I have to remember all the artists that, that we've sent there in your vision. But these are the most important ones, I think, like for the moment. Mm -hmm. And coming uh, slowly to the end of the chat, um, I mean, you didn't remember the English version, but uh, would you sing the Albanian version of your song? Yeah, great. You want what part of it or I choose it? Uh, I mean, it's up to you, actually, like whatever you want to sing, like okay. which part you want to sing. Uh, well, the best part, you know, like... <laughs> Falsetto because I don't want to shout out and bring all the people here. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. No, no, no. So I'm going to save it for for my live performance. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for that. Thanks so much. That was amazing. Much, uh, for the invitation and for the interview. It was very nice. Thank you. And yeah, we thank you for uh, joining us and in, in this business schedule, as I said before. And we're wishing you the best of luck for Festival of Kingas. Um, we'll be following and supporting you as well. Um, I had just one question, if you have time. Today, Sky is asking favorite lyrics of the song for you. Like, you know, the, the English one or the, the Albanian one? Um, I don't know, actually, but you can choose like one. Well, to be honest, I've always um, loved the way my music sounded in English, you know? Mm -hmm. But this song uh, kept the same energy in the lyrics. So to be honest, I, I also love the Albanian version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. It's just mm -hmm. the fact that if I win, I don't know, I'm gonna, maybe I'm going to change it in English just to be more international you know only for it yeah but mm -hmm. i i love the Albanian version okay okay so um just um uh, i'd like to say following their shoe for <laughs> uh joining <laughs> <laughs> i hope i hope that was nice pronunciation yeah that um, was <laughs> exactly like it following their room. thank you thank you <laughs> um and yeah so as I said, wishing you the best of luck at Festival of Kinges and hope to meet you soon in the future. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep all this, you know, and uh, put it inside my heart and maybe they're going to help me do a better performance. So thank thanks you. so much for the invitation, for the interview, hugs, and take care of yourself, you know. And you too. You, you too. You. Thank you. And love to Albania. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Lots of love for you Bye. too. Bye. 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 Bye.